Hello everyone! In this Java programming tutorial for beginners, you will learn about the for statement and enhanced for statement. The for statement is an easy way to loop or repeat a set of code until a particular condition is satisfied. I will type out an example in Eclipse. For, then within the parentheses, int space i, set that to 10, semicolon, i it's greater than zero, semicolon, i minus minus, minus minus is the decrement operator. Within the curly brackets, system.out.println. Within the parentheses, the string free trial days left on your account, plus i. This is the initialization expression which will initialize the loop. This is the termination expression. When i is greater than zero results in a false, then the for statement terminates. This is the decrement operator which subtracts one from the current value of i after each iteration through the loop. When we run our program, the result is our string free trial days left on your account and the current value of i are printed to each line until i is no longer greater than zero. We could change our loop to increment instead of decrement. Change the initialization expression to 1. Change the termination expression to i is less than 11. And change the decrement operator of minus minus to the increment operator of plus plus. When we run our program, the result is our string free trial days left on your account and the current value of i are printed to each line until i is no longer less than 11. The increment operator adds 1 to the current value of i after each iteration through the loop. The for statement also has another form called the enhanced for statement, which is used for iteration through collections in arrays. You may have seen an example of this in my tutorial, Arrays and Enhanced For Loops. Let's clear out our code from the main method and replace it with the following. First, we will initialize an array called Rainbow, which will contain string values. String, and then the symbol for array, Rainbow, and set that to the following strings, separated by commas, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Remember that strings are always wrapped in quotations. Arrays start at index 0. In our example, red is at index 0, orange index 1, yellow index 2, green index 3, blue index 4, indigo index 5, and violet index 6. Now let's type out our enhanced for loop for, and then within parentheses, string, color, colon, rainbow, and within the curly brackets, system.out.println, and within parentheses, color. Here we are declaring a string variable called color to hold the current value of the string from the rainbow array. The enhanced for loop starts out at the zero index of the array gets that value, which is red, and assigns that to color. Then it prints the value of color to the console. Next it gets the value at the one index, which is orange, and so on until it reaches the end of the array. Let's run our program. I have one too many closing brackets, so I will delete one of them. When we run our program, we see that all of the strings within our array have printed to the console. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Java for statements and enhanced for loops. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel, Bootstrap CSS Girl.